All right, there we go. We're off to the races. What up, guys? Happy Friday to everybody. 12.30 right now, just now leaving work. Leaving, out, leaving work two and a half hours early. Let's go. Two and a half hours early on a Friday. First off, there's not a better way to start the weekend. I am on call tomorrow, which kind of sucks, but today was a pretty easy day. It was uh, giving people with cerebral palsy Botox injections. So if you have cerebral palsy, your muscles are contracted often and they don't want to relax. And if you give them Botox, they're able to do, well, they're able to stretch out a little bit better and they're not as contracted so they can do their physical therapy better and it helps them. So I kind of like doing the cases. It's, uh, you know, not a hard day. It doesn't make for a hard day. And yeah, we did three of those cases today. Now we're leaving, getting ready to head to the apartment. We're gonna go overdose on beta alanine until my face wants to rip off or tingle off. I don't know. Um, and then we got arms, right? Let's go get it. Got both my brothers home this weekend, so I'm not gonna do a late night arm workout because I wanna do something with them later. So we're just gonna go head to the apartment and then go straight to the gym. Sounds like a plan to me. And I'll, I'll see you guys probably in the gym parking lot. I'm gonna figure out how I wanna structure this workout and hopefully we'll be able to provide some sort of value to anybody that's trying to grow their arms. Uh, we're just pulling up to the gym and my face is tingling already, okay? Six grams of beta alanine. Feel it, you know, just like in the head, you know, just wanting to rub it, right? Feels good. Uh, arm day, what are we gonna do? So I don't have, guys, I don't have much of like a structure for this right now. I just wanna go get a nasty arm pump. Like I'm a pretty simple person. We're gonna go do curls, we're gonna go do push downs. And I'm sure there's like some technique things that I could talk about when I'm doing the exercises. Um, and I probably will, I'll be able to find something. But like, I was just thinking like the consistency of how often you're working out is so much more important. Not, not entirely, but the consistency at which you're working out is very important in comparison to like how long you're working out the exercises that you're doing the rep ranges that you're doing like if you're in the gym consistently for a year but let's say you have suboptimal workouts you're going to be way ahead of the person that works out for a month that has a perfect or an optimal workout first of all there's no such thing as a perfect workout there's no such thing as an optimal workout all of our bodies are different and they're going to respond differently to the different stimuluses we give our bodies um and then another thing that i wanted to mention like in terms of like getting through a plateau or for a muscle group isn't growing or something like that there's a lot of things that you can change for your training specifically but even before you get to the training right like you have your sleep that you have to dial in on and then you have your nutrition because you have your sleep and nutrition. If you don't have those two things dialed in, or let's say they're only dialed in for like four or five days out of the week, right? You still have, I mean, you still have the other couple days to better both of those things. And then once you're, I don't know, not perfect, but let's say you're good on both of those things, then go to your training and like look at how you could switch up your training, whether it's the exercises you're doing, the order of the exercises, the rep ranges, the breaks, um, the technique, supersets, drop sets. There's so much that we could talk about. There's so much to talk about. But if I don't get asked questions, I don't really know what to talk about just because I've done this for, I don't know, I've done this for a long time and I feel like this is just another day in the gym for me. But we got arms today and we're gonna go get a nasty pump going. We're gonna go do some supersets. We're gonna do some isolation work. We're gonna, so I'm thinking I wanna start with biceps just because I haven't started with biceps in probably over a year of working out. Um, I almost never do. And I think it sounds like a fun time. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. And then that's all I got planned. I will see you guys in there. All right guys, so the idea was to start with biceps, not starting with them. First thing that we're doing 
rear delts, rear delts, most aesthetic part of the shoulder, something I want to work on. And I want to just keep the pump throughout the workout. So first thing that we're starting with some face pulls. <sighs> For the stretch, trying to round out my shoulders and then focus on pulling from my elbows. First set, set of eight, we're probably gonna take, I don't know, we're getting a pump, so like 20, 30 second breaks, and we'll do everything, at least eight reps, anywhere between like eight and 12 for now. How many sets is the question? And the answer is however many it takes to get a nice pump going. Okay, so like right here though, trying to roll my shoulders forward to stretch and then focusing on pulling and trying not to squeeze the traps but I feel like that's basically impossible not to do one or two more one more be four sets, four sets to start. For biceps, almost every time, I don't know, you'll never really see me on a machine for biceps. I like dumbbells and I like barbells. So that's what we got. We got we're gonna do probably just heavy supinated curls to start. Also, it's the bar that I'm using if you guys wonder. I like having a little curve in it. I feel like I can bring it further back to get a better contraction. Like if it's straight, I just can't pull as far back. And I like trying to pull out, focus on pulling out. LOL. Supinated alternating curls. And we're gonna go pretty heavy with these, starting with 45s. Well, we're gonna start getting blood into the triceps. So this is what we got for the second set. I'm thinking we're gonna probably start with four and then keeping the supination at the bottom. I think that's like a little subtle thing a lot of people can do. So instead of like going from here and then turning in and giving your bicep like a nice little break, just staying, staying supinated the entire time. Second set of triceps, try and point the elbows forward. One set of rear delts before we go heavier on biceps. Got a short break. We're gonna do, I don't know, probably go to 55s for the biceps. Another thing to mention, when you're staying right here, right with your palms up, it's harder to do all the reps. Like I'm just thinking like when I grab the 55s, I could just bring them into my sides and then restart every rep, right? But if I keep my palms up, it's gonna make the set harder. So we just gotta see how heavy it is. I'm also just gonna show you guys how much of a swing I have to these. And so this will be my heaviest set. So this will be the most amount of swing that I'll probably use. heavy. It's going to be a third set of triceps, not killing them by any means, but 
going decently heavy. This would be the heaviest set for the triceps, and then I don't know what we're gonna move on to. One thing I did notice doing the biceps right there is it feels better on my elbow when I keep my arms supinated. We only got six there, so we're gonna go a little bit lighter. This set, we're not gonna keep the arms supinated the entire time and try to go. So last set got six with a couple hammer curls at the end. This time I wanna do them all supinated and I wanna get to eight to 12 with 50s but not keeping my arm supinated like that's going to take a lot of tension off the bicep right so i'll, I'll be able to do more reps <sighs> 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 Hopefully not the worst angle. I wanted to show you guys kind of where I'm pulling. So uh, I'm gonna keep you guys on the side and down low. That's what we got. So we just did biceps. Now going into rear delts. <laughs> Super setting face pulls. All right, we're going to start getting the mid delts incorporated. And at this point, I think we're just going to start supersetting. I, I don't know. I want to say we're probably going to superset the rest of the workout, guys. Take a second and then got Arnold on the shirt. We're gonna throw some Arnold presses in the workout. All right, so there's three exercises I have in mind right now. We're gonna start with dinner plates and then we're gonna to go to single arm push downs or actually, okay, so this is a double arm movement, right? I think I'm gonna to go to dips after this. I don't really like supersetting double arm movements with single arm movements all that much. I'd just rather do two and two or one and one. Also, just don't be rushing through your sets. I do these basically the same time or the same way every time I do them. Hands next to the hips. Want to point my elbows straight back rather than having them flare to the sides. And then I just keep pressure on my palms. Like kind of leaving my body as dead weight almost. Uh, and just don't be don't be going too fast. Don't rush through the set. All right, we're gonna I don't know take a 20, 30 second break, and then we're gonna do a super set, 50s, and then 32 and a half. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> 
Single one push downs. Only thing that I do, maybe a little bit different than some of you guys, is when I'm doing the, or when I'm finishing the contraction for this, I always act like I'm putting my thumb in my pocket. Like a little twist at the end, just to try to get a better contraction. Tucking the elbows into the lats, staying contracted the entire time. We also got to put the 35s away because I'd imagine I'm thinking I'm going to be working with the 50s and probably this cable before we put them back though let's get a get a set in right we're going to stay supinated the entire time Look at that complicated camera work by me. Just the, I mean, this is definitely the main tricep movement that we've done today. It's been double arm pushdowns and single arm pushdowns. Let's probably throw in, I don't know, a little bit of something else. Maybe some kickbacks. Dropping it down. Uh, we're going pretty light here. This is just going to be slow and controlled. I'm thinking anywhere between like 12 and 20 reps. Uh, and at this point, like this point in the workout, you know where you want to be stretching. You know where you need to be squeezing. And it's just focusing on that. Uh, controlling the reps the entire time. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. I want to do a little bit more front delt and probably a little bit more side as well. I think rear delts are probably good. We're going to do at least one heavy set of front delts with dumbbells. And then cables, we'll do a little bit of isolation work, go pretty light. And that'll be our next super set. It's going to be a pretty heavy set, 50s, probably not too many reps. We're going to keep the thumb, thumb pointed up. Also, I'd say it's definitely easier when you're doing when you're doing shoulders or front delts in particular to keep your thumb up rather than putting your thumb or your palm down. Palm down, probably a bit harder. Ah, biggest thing, just making sure you get the stretch right here. Ah. Ooh. And then making sure, make sure that you're not squeezing your chest when you're doing this. You know, trying to isolate the shoulders. When I'm doing that, like I wanna squeeze my chest, it's hard for me not to. And I've been doing it for a long time, so I like, really focus on that, guys. We're gonna finish with some type of superset and we're gonna start it with rear delts. <sighs> Arms are shot, tries are shot. Let's make it a good one.
I want to do hammer curl still, but it kind of messes with my elbow a little bit. So, you know, I think we're going to call it. It was a pretty good arm day. Hopefully the first half of the workout recorded, but if not, I'll post the second half. Peace, guys. Sunday morning. It's been a good weekend. Nice day out. Don't really have anything planned. I think I'm going to go swim and sauna at the gym today. And then... This next week is gonna be my last week of five eights in the operating room, which is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna to go to three twelves after that. And it's definitely gonna free up some time in order to do some other things that I wanna do. I'm trying to think, so I'm trying to think of something that I could add to the back half of the video or the end of the video that would help you guys with growing your arms because this is an arm workout arm day video right so what would I want to hear if I was a younger version of myself that I don't know the things that I know now but I honestly I feel like I covered a decent amount of it in the front half of the video because I think the consistency at which you work out is probably is one of the most important things right and I don't know how to emphasize that enough. Um, but I think one key thing to being consistent is that you enjoy your workouts. So if you don't enjoy what you're doing, I, I mean, at times you definitely need to force yourself into the gym because you're just being lazy. But I don't know if there's a particular exercise you don't enjoy or it feels a little bit, a little bit weird, I wouldn't do it. Um, when I'm training my arms in particular, I try not to do anything less than six reps. And if it is less than six reps, oftentimes I'll just turn that into a drop set regardless of where I'm at. Um, and then I talked about changing your exercises, maybe little technique differences here and there of how you can do um, exercises a little bit differently kind of like when I was showing the supination at the bottom of the curl, uh, keeping your arm supinated so there's a bigger stretch on the bicep at the bottom. I think that's important, but like little subtle cues like that I wanna be adding into the videos. Um, changing your exercises, changing the frequency of how often you're hitting the muscle group I think is very important. Right now, I'm doing pretty high volume training for arms once a week, and then usually on my back or chest days, I'm throwing in uh, probably one movement for the arms usually. And that's kind of just to, I don't know, I do that just to weaken the, I don't know, weaken them for sure, because when you're going into the gym, you're purposely trying to weaken your muscles, right? You're trying to break them down so they are well, not as strong when you're leaving the gym. You want to break down the muscle. Uh, and there's so many different ways that you can break down the muscle, but I like, I like strength training, but strength training doesn't necessarily apply to arms as much as they do to like chest, back, and legs, your bigger muscle groups. Um, but I still think it is important like when you're hitting a muscle group, regardless of what it is, the first, or how I like to do it, the first one to two movements that I'm doing, I want to go heavy on and try to achieve progressive overload and just break down the muscles. So the first one to two movements, I'm not focused on pushing blood into the muscle per se. Um, 
obviously for a warm up, you want to have a little bit of blood in your muscles before you start getting after it. But I don't know, even when I'm doing arms, the first like one to two movements, I'm focused on breaking down the muscle with a rep range of anywhere between like six and 12 reps, 12 reps being on the higher end. Uh, and the way I'm choosing my weights is dependent. The way I'm choosing my weights is probably dependent on how fast or slow I want to go with the reps and the particular exercise that I'm doing. Um, slowing down your reps is near almost always a good thing, I would say. But I also wouldn't go super light and be super strict with every single rep. First off, I just don't think lifting is fun that way. And I think having fun is one of the most important things when it comes to being consistent. So, yeah, I don't know. Try try enjoying, enjoying what you do in the gym. I think that's the message I want to end with. Because if you enjoy your workouts in the gym, you're more likely to stay consistent. And the more consistent that you are, the better results that you're going to get. So whatever, I don't know. How can you, how can you enjoy being in the gym more? How, I guess seeing results, right? Seeing results is cool, that's motivating. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's it. And then for seeing results, consistency. I keep going back to it. I keep thinking about it. 